Hey guys, I'm Zoe from Plaquetica and tonight we are here at Dynamo in Zurich. It's the Mesa Festival and I'm speaking with Chris from Septic Flesh. For everyone who doesn't know you yet and is too lazy to Google it, how would you describe yourself? Myself, you mean uh, as a person? Yeah? The band. Ah, the band, okay. Uh, we are a symphonic, symphonic death metal band. Uh, you know, we have uh, started in uh, the beginning of 90s first as a extreme death metal band and then we added some symphonic elements to our sound. Okay, nice. What was the reason to add the more symphonic elements? The main reason is that the, all of us, you know, like uh, soundtracks, classical music and the most important is that I have studied classical music composition and orchestration in England and you know uh, it's it is like a weapon for us this and uh, and because I know how the orchestra works where uh, to put the limits in the orchestra and the metal uh, field it's uh, it's something you know unique for a band to have a person that uh, knows how to orchestrate and compose for an orchestra yeah, and as we hear, it works out like this. <laughs> Super. Um, do you have an idol, like a classical idol, or just an idol in metal? Well, um, I could say that when I heard the, the masterpiece of Igor Stravinsky, The Riot of Spring, when I heard it, I said I want to be a composer, you know? And uh, Igor Stravinsky was my main influence as a composer. Um, now for the metal, uh, when I was young, uh, younger, I was listening to Moby Danger, Celtic Frost, Death, uh, Megadeth, this kind of bands. Yeah. So that's the mixture of both. Yeah. Fine, super. And um, if there would be. Uh, whatever reason that you would need to stop playing symphonic death metal, would there be another option? Mm, I don't think so. You know, now we are, uh, we we have this, uh, we have been established as this, as a symphonic uh, death metal band. I cannot see that uh, we could continue without the symphonic elements. Okay, fine. So, you're now on tour through Europe with Inquisition. Yeah, in yes, how is it going so far? It's going really great. We had some uh, sold out shows. We had some difficulties, uh, you know, because it's the beginning of the tour. But it's going really smooth. It's going to be a great tour. So you said difficult. What do you mean by difficult? Like uh, people or whatever? No, no, it's, it's technical stuff, you know. Okay. Like uh, you have to organize the merch. You have to see if it works the back line. You know, Inquisition had uh, an issue with... Uh, they had a health problem with the drummer, but now he's fine, you know. Mm -hmm. Difficult is that could, uh, you know, could create bigger problems and could be out of control, but everything is fine now. Okay, nice to hear. So we can enjoy the gig tonight. Yeah. Super. You guys have a very different style, you and the Inquisition, since they are really um, popular for being a satanic band. Was this was this every uh, was this a problem sometime or is this like okay? How do you get, uh, guys get along? <laughs> you mean uh, they are satanic band? They are. They're popular for being one. Uh, like everyone thinks they are one, and they're yeah. 
Well, I don't believe in Satan or Christ, you know. For me, it's all this a bit of childish, you know. Yeah. But, you know, Inquisition have their own philosophy. I don't think it's so simple as it is Satan or this, you know. But uh, they are great guys, you know, amazing people. And uh, we, it's the third time that we do together, you know. Okay. Don't get me wrong, for me, it's to... You know, they have their own philosophy. It's not so straight, you know, I'm satanic and this, type, this kind of stuff. But Satan is uh, a joke for me like Christ. Yeah, that's true. Because if you don't have a Christ, where should be the Satan well, at all? You know, Satan is a, is a, how to say, a commercial brand. Yeah, that's right. You know, for a band, you know. Even Titans, like Bathory. They said they did for commercials purposes. I don't say that all the black metal bands do that. They have their own opinion, their own philosophy, you know, don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, it's a brand that sells. So you're a taste yourself and the band? Uh, in which, what do you mean, sorry? Uh, uh, your religion or not your a taste? Well, we, we, we don't believe in any gods, you know, in this okay. kind of stuff. Like you believe in yourself. Of course. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Super. Definitely. Super. So uh, was there a special reason to go on tour with them? Or did you just meet them and said, yeah, guys, let's go on tour together? Well, we know them. We are, we are, this is the third tour that we are doing together. Um, we have the same label, same management. It was easy to to make this tour happen, you know. Yeah. It's a great band, it fits the packets, and it's great. Super, perfect. So um, you went to many tours yet through Europe, America. What was your favorite place and what was like the worst? Worst place, you know, I cannot say that you know, exist a worse place. But uh, we had good memories uh, from Montreal when we played first time, when we went to USA with uh, Satiric on a Cradle of Filth. You know, it was an amazing experience. It was a show with 2,500 people. Yeah. It was great. Now, you know, all countries are uh, nice, beautiful. You know, I don't have something that I can say it's it's a worse place, you know, not something like that. Or like difficult place because of the food or because of the area of the driving, whatever. No, we 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 try to be careful of you know when we go in countries that are a bit strange with food and water to be careful, you know. And uh, but uh, nothing serious happened till now, you know. If you are careful, you you know. Nothing will happen. Okay, cool, super. So let's talk about your home, Greece. Do you miss something from there while you're being on tour? Well, you know, it's my country. I love my country. And uh, when you grow up, when you get older, you appreciate more the beauty of your country, you know, and, and uh, no. And uh, when, uh, uh, sorry, it was somewhere, you know. And uh, I miss things, but I like also to tour, you know. Yeah. <coughs> uh, this is, uh, I'm very lucky that I'm able to tour worldwide, you know, but uh, I try to balance things and, uh, and this is good, you know, when you have balance, you don't miss things. Yeah, right. But it's also cool to come home then. Of course. Back, yeah. So uh, Greece is so... Um, popular for their beautiful small so many islands yes. and uh, of course their mythology yes. do you have a, a favorite tale like a favorite funny or favorite silly tale no 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 not like Zeus and the many women he slept with or whatever many women slept yeah which one is that Oh, I think it's every tale. <laughs> uh, yeah. mm. 
we are proud about our mythology, you know, and... Uh, but, you know, we don't have something, I don't have something like I like more, you know. Uh, okay, fine. Super. Um, last September, you released uh, your newest album, Codex Omega. Yeah. Do you have a favorite song from there? <coughs> I could say my best song from there is Enemy of Truth, uh, Portrait, you know, Martyr, Dark Art. You know, I don't have one, you know. It's, it's a new creation, you know, and uh, you love your new material always, you know, but I, ca I cannot choose one. You know. Okay. Super. And um, were there any difficulties while recording it? Um, no, no. You know, we are experienced. Experienced, you know, we know what we want. Each of us has its own role. I would go in Prague with the orchestra, uh, the guys that would do the metal parts. You know, when you are organized and uh, everything will go really well. Okay, perfect, super. And um, if you need to describe it in three words, how would you do it? The album, huh? Yes. Hmm. Yes, I would say dark art. Uh, creation. Sounds good. Sounds like the album. <laughs> Super. So, what should we expect for the gig tonight? Um, well, we don't have all our full production, but we will do our best to perform like it is our last show. And uh, we will perform the new album and we are eager to be on stage. Super, so we're very excited. Um, so that's it. Do you want to say something more, some greetings to your fans, friends, family? Yes, I want to thanks, thank all our fans that have been supportive uh, for Septic Flesh all these years, even when we were disbanded, you know, their help was really valuable. Super. So I'd like to say thank you for the inter uh, interview and thank to you all for looking at us and uh, go to the website, like it, share it and uh, don't forget to abonnate and check them out, Septic Flesh on uh, YouTube, Instagram. <laughs> but Facebook all the way so the links are down there in the descri description <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. yes nice thanks a lot thank you very much oh. <laughs>